Hello, I'm at Bulk Nancy Arion. I haven't done an update on the Brompton for a considerable length of time. I've been getting on with cycling. I've really come to enjoy the freedom of mid Wales. It's so wild and remote. Uh, I thought it was important to do an update on this Brompton because, uh, as you will notice, the mudguard or fender over the United States is not on at the minute and I need to get a new rack. It had worn right down. I had uh, some comments posted on Facebook with the Brompton community that uh, the nuts or something weren't uh, put in right correctly. Well, it had worn down and so for, for safety I got it taken off um, I enjoy what I do in Mid Wales, but I've noticed you've got to be very well aware of the roads. The cars go so fast and the t I try to avoid the trucks when I can because they come hurtling around here at speed like you wouldn't believe. And there aren't many traffic lights as well. I like to call this area Wild West Country and it quite literally is. Uh, and But I enjoy the freedom. I mean, when I get back the other side of Carmarthen, when I've been at meetings in Cardiff, I think, oh, breathing space. And I've really come to respect this country. I enjoyed what I did in 2014 uh, uh, around Europe. But when I got back to Wales, I thought, now do you finally realise the freedom that you have got? And I have got an abundance of freedom. I'm happy to report that I've been over to the Republic of Ireland, which was my late father's home country. I went to County Dublin for a few days with the Brompton. And my sister's been living in Monkstown and I'm a proud uncle of two nieces. So I finally went over and I was personally delighted to go over to dad's uh, home country. And I've got some stories to tell about Ireland. I had a guess who might be playing who on the Saturday. I was right, England were playing Ireland. You'll have to excuse me if my accent changes a little bit. I picked up a trace of it from dad, uh, who taught me to read when I was little and pronounce words. And I didn't end up with a London accent. I ended up with a trace of his. Anyway, I saw England supporters at Hollyhead. I went over on a very rough day it was, St. Patrick's Day. Anyway, they must have recognised something in my accent slightly. They looked a bit nervous about me. I said, going over for the game, are you? They said, yes. I said, win or lose, no matter. What's important in Ireland is the drinking afterwards and a good dose of the crack. And I went off and told a Welshman who was working at the ferry terminal that when he said, you're not wrong there. Anyway, I was listening in on the England supporters on the ferry and I overheard what they were saying. Well, they, some young ones were saying they hope that the Irish win so that they live. And they said the Welsh want to be Irish. And I'm saying nothing. And I live in Wales. And my personal favourite is what a Dublin bus driver said to some American tourists who got on board the bus and didn't have the right currency. With a grin on his face, he says, we do take the gringo dollars. And I'm thinking to myself, trust an Irishman to think of that one. Of course, I know what he's doing. He's doing the Blarney on them. And uh, I've had a lot of practice growing up with my Irish dad. And he, he made fun of us. He used to get up to mischief with us. We did the same back to him. That's fair. So, uh, oh, dad was great fun. Uh, but that was a good night. Oh, I did Dublin on the Saturday. Oh, it was heaving with supporters. And I'm having to watch it with the Irish taxi cab drivers in Dublin. They're lethal. And I cycled in from Monkstown, which is six miles on the bike path. And that was lovely. But I couldn't ride on the left side of the Liffey because the, the cars are horrendous. Uh, there is a bike path down by the Liffey, which goes as far as uh, a ferry terminal. Oh, on the Monday, I'm taking my life in my hands. I have to get up onto a footpath. I tried getting to the ferry terminal. I've got to get up on this footpath, which is not being used because the trucks are big and they move fast. So I'm taking my life in my hands to do it. I won't be doing that one again in a hurry. And uh, my sister was quite right about the trucks coming out of that ferry terminal. Oh, you're all right once you get down the bottom of Alexandra Road, uh, where the bike pass starts at the Liffey. But um, oh, I wouldn't recommend it. Not on with that ferry terminal. It's lethal. Uh, oh, but I, what I did like, I got out of uh, Dublin at four o'clock because just as well I did because they shut some of the stations down because of the Viva Stadium at Lansdowne Road. Anyway. Of course, I was telling the Irish what the English were saying about them and everything. And I was simply supporting Ireland, see, even though I was born in London. And uh, anyway, uh, I got to County, back to Monkstown. I saw the bike path. I thought, oh, this is Ireland for me. Uh, to count the Dublin Bay. And I was, uh, before I knew it, I was cycling through Dunlera. I thought, everything's close compared to where I live, isn't it? And then I was in Dorky. And I thought, oh, this is great. 
because I went over to Ireland when I was a child with my family. Uh, seven and a half weeks, we had a ball. We had an RV and we were going around Ireland. Oh, I remember the west coast of Ireland with joy and swimming on the beaches in Connemara. Woo! Oh, that was so exciting. And uh, I'm very happy my sister lives over in Ireland. We're supposed to be doing some traveling again with family commitments uh, in September. I'm not sure which country we're going to yet. It could be either the west coast of Ireland or France. Uh, my brother-in-law's an academic over in Ireland and uh, he's got to switch jobs. His contract's come to an end and also uh, they've got to move properties because the landlord wants to sell his property. So uh, he's put him for new jobs. So, so I'm not sure which country it will be yet, but it'll be exciting. So I am getting to do a bit more global travel again, which I'm thrilled about. But due to calls, uh, I've got two young nieces and I've been advised by my sister, enjoy them while they're still young at the minute, you know, going to see them, visit them, because when they're 18, they're not going to want to know me anymore. That sounds about right. Uh, so I, I turned up with tin whistles for them and everything. And uh, they're lovely girls, very chatty and very theatrical. I had to watch where they <laughs> watch them because I didn't want to move right into them. I've got congenital glaucoma. And I said to my sister in the home, I better slow down because I might walk right into them. And... Uh, so it was fun going over, and that was uh, the 17th of March until the 20th. And I haven't made any of those videos anymore. I seem to have got out of that one, but um, I thought I'd do an update. The, I put the bike in for a service. I'm going to cycle the 14 miles back. I haven't drunk a pint of water. It's quite warm today, and I find on long rides, I do need to drink a pint of water. Otherwise, I dry out very quickly. If the water on its own is not enough. I have to drink a pint before I get out. Uh, so I'm going to cycle the 14 miles back the, by a devil's bridge. And uh, whoever watches this video, have a lovely day. And hope you enjoyed my short update. Thank you very much.